All right, so here he is, the budding Brazilian heavyweight contender, Jailton Almeida. Malia Gino has left a lot of scalps in his wake of late. Derek Lewis, Jarzinho Rosentrek, Shamil Abdurahimov. But now the challenges get stiffer, and we wonder aloud, will this undersized heavyweight be able to realize success as he runs into the guys who are cutting down to 266 pounds? A lot of people believe when Jailton Almeida signed with the UFC that he could realize world titles, not just at heavyweight, but also at 205 pounds. He has chosen to stay up with the big boys. We'll see how it goes in another big spot for Jailton Almeida tonight. But don't sleep on the hands yeah. of Curtis Blades. In the Justin Willis fight, you saw the wrestling set up the overhand right that put Willis down. And you've seen that from Curtis Blades, a guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. is palpable. Both fighters have now graced the octagon, ready to go with this massive fight here at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, USA. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jailton Mahayajinho Almeida! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Curtis Racer! Herb Dean, third Ready. man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Go. So with Curtis Blades, he has been quick on pursuit of the takedown and past UFC appearances, but how will he approach this challenge here tonight? His striking has improved leaps and bounds since his UFC debut. He figures to be bringing a lot of different weapons to the table here tonight. Nice shot moving off the center line. He slips into a beer with that right hand. Single leg takedown is good. All right, so there's the early takedown for the decorated grappler. Exactly what he wanted to do tonight. Exactly what he needed to do if he's going to want to win this fight. You've got to put this guy on his back early, and you've got to put him on his back off. Making all these shots count. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Blades. Oh, that is tight. Could be the beginning of the end. Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips. Facing and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. This is a terrible position. Oh, the ground and pound is coming good. Oh! Well, Magachino's going for an arm here. Oh, that's tight. Everybody in this 
Serena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Jail Khan Mahayajinya Alvino! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin 